7 billion year old stardust is oldest material found on earth There's a reason entire fields of study are dedicated to looking backwards whether experts are piecing together the lives of our early ancestors or creating 3d models of a packed Roman Colosseum the past helps us better understand ourselves and our place in the universe which is why scientists in Australia were ecstatic when they uncovered a mysterious pebble in the carnage of a meteor strike certain it held answers to history's oldest questions researchers sought to understand the stone down to its atomic makeup the implications were even greater than they'd imagined in September of 1969 a very curious event occurred near Murchison a small Australian village just before 11 a.m. passers-by witnessed a giant ball of fire streak through the sky before splitting into three distinct strands the event was as terrifying as it was exciting but the enormity of its significance wouldn't come out until way later the ball of fire had in fact been a meteorite that hurtled towards earth and the secrets it was hiding would prove to be great the so-called Murchison meteorite was one of the most studied of all time due to its size 220 pounds and because people saw it falling however it wouldn't be until half a century after its initial landing that its true significance was revealed to understand why the Murchison meteorite is so very groundbreaking to our understanding of the universe it's necessary to take a step back and understand some crucial facts about an important material contained within the otherworldly rock known as pre-solar grains the particles of stardust are so old they predate the existence of our Sun and solar system the Murchison meteorite contained an impressive amount of these little molecules to put in perspective how rare that is only 5% of meteorites discovered on earth contain pre-solar grains however beyond the unlikely nature of the find this particular meteorite proved to be special for another reason so the eager scientists got to work on beginning the process of isolating and testing these fascinating grains the process itself seems so complicated it's a wonder anyone ever thought it up first they had to crush samples taken from the meteorite into a powder once in this disintegrated form it begins to take on a paste like consistency one of its qualities is especially stomach churning apparently this reconstituted form of the meteorite takes on a very pungent and not so pleasant aroma those who have smelled it describe the scent as something akin to rotten peanut butter yikes while they might have an overpowering scent these pre-solar grains are incredibly small usually even tinier than a micron the Murchison grains were much larger however measuring between 2 and 30 microns a pop however despite the larger than normal nature of these particular grains it still stands that a hundred of the largest ever found would still be small enough to fit on the period on the end of a sentence at this point these scientists were far from being done with their analysis they still needed to figure out where the stuff had come from and just exactly how old it really was in speaking about the chemical processes underlining their research the study's head author Philip Hack explained some of these cosmic rays interact with the matter and form new elements and the longer they get exposed the more those elements form in case this seems confusing Hack also provided an easier to understand analogy I compare this with putting out a bucket in a rainstorm assuming the rainfall is constant the amount of water that accumulates in the bucket tells you how long it was exposed when the results come back they were shocked the majority of the grains were between 4.6 and 4.9 billion years old with some being more than 5.5 billion years old however they also came to an even more curious conclusion there's been a long-standing debate within the scientific community over whether or not the rate at which stars are formed is constant this study has garnered pretty solid evidence to support one side of this argument Hack and his team surmised that due to their discovery of younger grains than they'd expected there had to have been a period 7 billion years ago before the existence of our Sun that stars formed at a much more rapid pace it's so exciting to look at the history of our galaxy Hack mused stardust is the oldest material to reach earth and from it we can learn about our parent stars the prolific scientists continued on emphasizing this meteorite also gives us insight into the origin of the carbon in our bodies and the origin of the oxygen we breathe with stardust we can trace that material back to the time before the Sun 